While playing Stellaris, there's a major problem when it comes to researching technology, and that is the general lack of a tech tree. Now, we can research individual techs that appear to be standing all on their own. However, there is an underlying tech tree for both physics, society, and engineering. The research phys uh, technology tree does help a little bit, but there is other ways to find out where we're going. And this is the place where we find answers to this. I found something the other day, and I'll thank you. Enjoy this. Well, it's going on a Solaris subreddit the other day. I found a rather interesting post from user Baldor, who had taken the time to path out the complete tech tree in Stellaris, something that isn't readily available in the game. And looking at this tree, we can make out some interesting conclusions. For instance, the most expensive techs in all three trees are 3,880 tech points. For example, zero point power in physics, side jump drives in society, and most of the end game missile and kinetic weapons are all this number. It gives you a good overview of which technologies are rare and how to obtain them. There isn't, however, an indication on how tech becomes available for you to research. Just because you have New World's Protocol doesn't mean that you'll have instant access to every type of planetary colonization research. Looking at these trees, you can pull some very interesting conclusions and draw some very interesting paths on your tech cycle. I highly suggest you go and check these out. I've linked them in the description below. And uh, I suggest that you go take a look at them because it definitely helped me. And I think it will help you as well. Until next time, take good care of yourselves and each other.